Hey guys, this is my Bring Back, where we got your back on learning, and welcome to the Xcode 4.2 tutorial series where we're going through developing an application from the start of the downloading of the Xcode 4.2 all the way to publishing an application in the app market. So stay tuned. We are in uh, basically Xcode 4.2. We're in the iPhone storyboard here. And what we're going to do is we're going to delete the second image view from the last tutorial. And that was just for demonstration purposes. No need to have it in there. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to finish up this first view, um, this first page that we have, the first tab. And then we're going to move on to the second, third, so on and so forth. So what we're going to do is we are going to change the background color of this view. And you can change the background by clicking within the view, white space, selecting it, going up to the attributes on the right. We're going to go, we're going to, go to the background, and I'm just going to go with a simple gray color. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to change this font color to a white. So it really pops off the screen. We're going to move it up under our logo, just so it looks nice there. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the tab bar name, um, the title within the tab bar. And as you can see, the name is directly reflected on our tab bar controller here, uh, stated first right now. So we're going to take that title out and put in uh, bring. And as you can see, when you return, it's going to update it on the tab bar controller as well as on our view controller here. You can also change the image that uh, appears above the title that you give it. In this case, we've got our image that's in our supporting files over to the left, and uh, I believe it's just a simple circle at this point called first. So what we're going to do now is run the application, make sure it looks good, and then we'll move on to developing the second view controller and the third. And now that your application is running, you'll see that we've got our icon that's going to be a simple circle, and then we've, our title has been changed. We've also changed the background color to a nice gray and then the font color and the logo look very good there as far as uh, aesthetically. So hopefully you guys are catching on to how to develop, how to uh, customize your application from the view controller or the storyboard. And now we're going to be moving into some of the programming behind the scenes and how to get your application to do what you want it to do. So click that like button before you guys move on to the next video and don't forget to subscribe so we can, uh, we can let you know when those videos come about. We'll uh, catch you guys in the next tutorial.